and uh, GoGo is no exception. We are back with Goldilocks, and uh, Goldilocks also came to us as a stray, and she is um, uh, between one and two years old. She's quite young. She might be part Cocker Spaniel. I suspect she's part Chow or Sharpe because she has the blue markings on her tongue. Now, it is true that a purebred German Shepherd or a purebred Golden Retriever can have a purple marks on their tongue. So uh, the idea that it's a guarantee that she's part Chow is not true. However, um, because of her coloring and the shape of her face and her stature, um, it is likely that she's at least part Chow. And then that makes calling her other parts, Golden Retriever or Cocker Spaniel, less likely because most of what she looks like can be explained by her part Chow. Anyway, none of that matters. It's just that um, research has shown that looking at a dog and guessing her breed is very, very unreliable. Um, add to that, as we've been saying all morning, that um, the, um, something on my shoe is interesting, that every dog has all of the behaviors that dogs have if you train and reinforce it. So um, not only is breed guessing unreliable, but it's, it's not that helpful. You have to meet the dog, um, see what she's like, see what she's interested in. For example, she's not that interested in food from a stranger. So it tells you something about her. She's smart and doesn't take um, uh, easily, she's not easily bought, we'll say that. So um, her fur's really soft and um, she is, um, her panting, it's not that hot in here. So her panting is an indication that she's just a little bit nervous. And if she in a few minutes goes ahead and eats the treat, then that means that she has settled down a little bit realizing that we're not dangerous and this room isn't the vet and that um, she's going to be able to uh, figure out what goes on next by taking in some information. So if you are interested in Goldilocks, um, we believe she's already been spayed, so she was someone's pet. And the other thing to consider is that if you know someone who's missing a dog, please, please tell them to call in a lost report and come to the shelter as often as they possibly can because while 70% of our lost dogs do get reclaimed, that means 30% don't. And we never know if it's because people didn't want them for some reason or something happened to the people um, or that they just never found their dog. So um, if you think that Goldilocks would make a good match for you or someone that you know, then please let us know.